What's going on here, squad? That's your main man, Hitman, and I am back once again with the daily spawn updates for Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. This is for the family heirlooms, all lost jewelry, the coins, the arrowheads, the flowers, the antique alcohol bottles, all tarot cards, the bird eggs, and the fossils. Today is Monday, April 12th, and as I say each and every video, Smash that thumbs up button if you find this video any bit informative or helpful in any type of way. And if you're watching, just browsing, just checking out the cycles, just checking out the channel, just checking out me in general, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys can get each and every video that I put out because I do put out videos each and every day. If you guys want to know Madam Nazar's location any bit earlier than this video, be sure to follow me on Instagram or Twitter at Hitman Miyagi YT. How to spell that will be right under the video. There's a hashtag down there and in the, in the description it will be also down there how to spell it. Um, the first thing I'm going to get out the way is Madame Nazar's. If you've been looking at the map a little bit, you should be able to see where she's at. But if not, she's right here today in Big Valley. Right at this location right here right underneath the double E and Creek. That's how I pinpoint her position, like of Little Cute Creek River, right here by the double E. Put a waypoint right there and just go there. How I personally get to her when she's in this area is I try to put my camp down here in Big Valley. What I do to get my camp up here towards the top of Big Valley because sometimes if you just like randomly on the map it'll give you a camp down here somewhere or somewhere like that but I fast travel to Coulter and then while I'm sitting up there in Coulter I'll move my camp to Big Valley and try to get it closer up here it took me about two or three times to move the camp actually up here but it actually went most of the time I get it on the first first try, but that's how I get to her when she's in this location. It's a little quicker way to get to her, but you can also run from Strawberry, fast travel to Strawberry and just run up. It's a little bit of a run, but I mean, it depends on you, how you are as a player and stuff like that. If you don't care for the run, just run from Strawberry. If not, just put your camp over here and go from there. It's a little bit closer. You will get camps over here and stuff. Like there's a camp over here, uh, one right here or up here, like right here. I don't know if you actually get these camps. I think people do get these camps because I did see a camp like right here, like kind of close to her. So, I mean, that's enough on her. But she will be here until 2 a.m. That's Eastern Standard Time, New York Time Zone, East Coast Time Zone. For those of you who don't know, or not of America. Let's get to the next thing, which is the Caribbean rum for today, which today it is in Blackwater. See Blackwater? Boom. Right here inside this tent, you should see this square right here. This is where you will find your antique alcohol bottle. Uh, it's pretty much in that tent towards the back. And this Caribbean rum bottle is the antique alcohol bottle. I think I've said that a couple times. There's also a family heirloom here, which is inside the table, inside on the table in the back is a ivory cone. There's also a tarot card right here. I think it's sitting like on a, a wooden stand or whatever. It's a four of wands. Go get that as well. There's a couple other things, like a family, I mean, not a family heirloom. Um, there's a card here, another card, which is a Ace of Pentacles. And there's also a spot over here for a random lost jury. So go get that as well. Okay, let's go over here to where we usually do business to get everything in frame get it close as possible so you guys can see everything and all the details
All right. The cycles for today, Monday, April 12th, are Family Heirloom Cycle 3, All Lost Jury Cycle 4, Coin Cycle 2, Arrowhead Cycle 3, Wildflower Cycle 1, Anti Galgo Abano Cycle 4, All Tarot Card Cycle 4, Bird Egg Cycle 6, and Fossil Cycle 2. Remember to check the description box below because everything will be down there. The cycles, a link to a video for the current cycle of fossils, and how to spell the Twitter and Instagram for the channel, which is Hitman Miyagi YT. Let's get to the things that we actually will find across the Lemoyne area of the map. <clears throat> if there are any problems with the cycles, remember to check the description box below because if there is like if you do get to something that you can't change i mean if you get to something that you can't find like one of these items let me know in the description box below because i mean it may not be there it may be a different cycle than what i got because sometimes i'm not right most of the times i'm right but not all the time sometimes i do mess up but starting at the most top marker, which is right here at this location, you will find a family heirloom, which is a metal hairpin. You do not need your metal detector for this one. You just need your shovel. So come here, right here, by this burnt down house or shack, right here at this location. You should see the a dig spot with the sparkly dust stuff. So. Come right here with your shovel and that's what you will get, a metal hairpin family heirloom. Let's go over to our next marker, which there are two things right here at this location. Underneath the house, come underneath the house with your metal detector and you will find a random coin. And inside the house, go down, I think the, the entrance is like right here, but go around and up the stairs and into the house and you will find a tortoise shell comb and that tortoise shell comb is in the house on the wash table. The wash table is right on the other side of the dinner table. Let's see what else we have. Let's go over here to the right a little bit. Down at this location, you will find a random fossil. Right here at this location, come over here with your metal detector. And that's what you will get. Remember with these fossils to look for like tree stumps or big rocks or like trees and stuff like double trees and stuff like that that that's like a big hint to where these fossils will be especially if you already know where they are let's go over to our next marker i was trying to look and see if there was anything over to the left a little bit but right here at our next marker you will find a bird egg, which is a egret egg, E-G-R-E-T. That's in the tree, shoot it down with a varmint rifle or a bow using a small game arrow. Um, I do have one thing that's all the way over here inside this building, which is a tarot card. This tarot card is inside the shack on the table to the right. It is a king of swords, so go grab that as well. Let's go over here to our next marker which is actually inside the city by the E in Lemoyne. Right here at this location, you will find a family heirloom. This family heirloom is a ebony hairpin. This ebony hairpin is on a three-seater bench or chair right along this side of the wall right here in the front. There's also a tarot card on the piano about right here in the house. And that, that tarot card is a three of pentacles. So go get that as well uh, let's go over here to our next marker which is a lost jury it's not random because it's a Benet's topaz ring it's right inside this crypt right here go right through the gate and towards the back of the room or crypt and that's where you get your Benet's topaz ring B-A-N-A-I-S there's also a tarot card right here, which is a two of swords. It's right here on a crate by a, like a, a open fire pit or whatever. You can cook your food here and stuff like that. But right there next to the fire pit, you will um, 
get a two of swords tarot card there's also a tarot card here or about here at this location i cannot I can remember exactly what card that is i apologize for that but there's also another tarot card at our next marker which is a four of cups tarot card is right here in this corner on a stack of boxes and there's also like a um a fountain right here with a light in the middle of it just so you know you're in the right location right there that's where you find your four of cups tarot card all right let's go over to our next marker which is right here right here at this location this marker is underneath the railroad it's underground how you get this this um item which is a antique alcohol bottle it is it is a tennessee whiskey antique alcohol bottle to be exact but right here at this location go right here there's a double gate go through that gate there's a platform right about here hop on top of the platform to your right you should see a entrance to the building right about here go down follow that path down and around and it leads you underground to the antique alcohol bottle the antique alcohol bottle is to the right of this little cave path right here is a lot very large crate with a lantern on it and you should see the tennessee whiskey antique alcohol bottle how to get out just reverse and go back the way you came let's go over to our next marker which is the cardinal flower that spawns over here in this area that helps me personally indicate exactly what fossil what cycle the fossils are on the fossil those flowers are on i apologize for that mistake <laughs> but that's what this is a cardinal flower uh up to our next marker which we do still have one down there this next marker there is a this next marker is a family heirloom this family heirloom is a new guinea rosewood hairbrush this new guinea rosewood hairbrush is on the back porch of this mansion on a table right here at this location there's also a tarot card about right here so go get that as well that tarot card is a two of wands if that's something you've been looking for even if not why not go get it there's also two things down here right at this house inside the house on a cupboard behind the sofa there's a king of cups and inside the wardrobe in the first room to the right there's a thorburn turquoise ring lost jewelry Let's go up here to our next marker, which is a random arrowhead. This random arrowhead, you do not need your metal detector, but you do need your shovel. So come right here at this location. You should see the sparkly stuff right at the edge or right at the end of the cotton field. That's where it is, right here at this location. If you pay attention to the line, I try to put it right there on the line. It's right at that location, basically. So when you do if you do mark your markers like I mark my markers, just put it there or about where you see mine it. And that's where, I mean, you can find it. Let's, uh, there's a, there's a tarot card here as well, which is that tarot card is a 10 of pentacles. And inside this house, the Braithwaite Manor home, there will, or there is, a about right here if you guys want to mark a marker or a waypoint inside the house there is a cherry wood comb which is upstairs in a room with a chest at the foot of the bed right about here inside the mansion i cannot like give you any more details but that's basically where it's at inside the mansion if you put a waypoint it'll go away once you go over here to this area but if you put a a marker it'll stay until you take it off so that's you <laughs> but let's go up here to uh roads a little bit there are a couple um 
tarot cards that I can tell you guys about, which right about here, there's a table. And on that table, you will find a Six of Cups tarot card. And right inside this little room right here, you will find another tarot card, which is a Nine of Pentacles. There's also, I feel like I've telling you, told you guys a bunch of things in this video. Right here at this location, you will find a random lost jury. I have a couple more things to tell you guys, at least two. Right here at our last marker, you will find a random coin. Right underneath the uh, railroad, right on the side, come over here with your metal detector and you, that's what you will get a random coin. Remember to look at the lines on the video, if you can see that line, that very faint line right there, that's how I personally indicate where this location is. But let's go over here to the Southfield Flats home, which is inside the home in the tall wardrobe. As soon as you walk through the door, you should see a tall green wardrobe right ahead, directly in front of the door. Right inside that tall green wardrobe, you will find a ebony hairbrush right at this location right here. So go get that too. Uh, that's pretty much it for the things that I do have for you guys today. The cycles, once again, are Family Heirloom Cycle 3, All Lost Jury Cycle 4, Coin Cycle 2, Arrowhead Cycle 3, Wildflower Cycle 1, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 4, All Tarot Card Cycle 4, Bird X Cycle 6, Fossil Cycle, or and Fossil Cycle 2, once again. Family Heirloom Cycle 3, All Lost Jury Cycle 4, Coin Cycle 2, Arrowhead Cycle 3, Wildflower Cycle 1, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 4, All Terra Card Cycle 4, Bird Egg Cycle 6, and Fossils Cycle 2. Today is Monday, April 12th, and as I say each and every video, thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, and all that other good stuff. I do appreciate each and every bit of it, and if you don't like, share, comment, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you guys can get each and every video that I do put out because I do put out videos each and every day. Sometimes more than one. I was thinking about just recording like a video like in the morning of me going or after my video, just going to go find this stuff or something like that so I can have uh something else for you guys to watch i mean to to actually see how to get these things i may start doing that i'm not sure like whenever i have time i'm not sure but um it's your main man hit man thank you guys for watching and i'm out